so he would be an Arab. So Indonesian don't qualify. <laughs> no, <laughs> he would be an Arab. <laughs> he would speak Arabic. Hmm? <coughs> That's his genealogy. Uh, but I am anticipating that the Israeli Mossad has already created an Imam al-Mahdi and the CIA. And as soon as Iran is attacked, uh, that manufactured Imam al-Mahdi is going to emerge. One has already emerged in Turkey. A fellow who's written large numbers of books and is very popular on cable television and so on. Yeah. <coughs> uh, so you, you are going to have false Imam al-Mahdi's. The way you'll be able to recognize him is not by his genealogy. The way you'll be able to recognize him is that you have to wait for that Khalifa to die. And then there's disagreement concerning succession. And then a man will emerge out of Medina and hurry to Mecca. And then the people of Mecca will come out to him, so he's a well-known person. And urge him and force him to accept the bay'ah, or the oath of allegiance. <coughs> and he will do so at the Kaaba. When he does that, he will then himself proclaim that he is the Imam. So when he proclaims himself the Imam at the Kaaba, you will now be able to examine his credentials. So if he proclaims himself to be the Imam in San Francisco, don't bother. <laughs> don't bother. Or Jakarta. Hmm? Mecca has never been a Shia city in the sense of being populated by Shia people. Let me repeat that, because some people are hard of understanding. Mecca has never ever been a Shia city, in the sense of having a population that is overwhelmingly Shia. Uh, 